Welcome and happy Black History Month, a month of freedom, expression, and expansion. Black history is American history. It is New York City history. This month, we come together to honor the triumphs and remember the tragedies that have defined the Black experience in our country. We Africans are a blessed nation in the world, blessed by land with water, soil with minerals, history with culture, and many more. Unfortunately, through the generational pain, confusion, and identity crisis that we have been through, we got to where we are today. And that's why holidays like Black History Month helps us reconnect with our identity that we lost through the process we came. And for Africa Renaissance to happen, the consciousness and readiness of the people matters, which currently, people with such understanding from different backgrounds are reflecting their own form of Africa. For instance, the First Supper, Haile Selassie, takes center stage in Strange's majestic sculpture is a perfect example. This art was currently revealed in the Royal Academy Courtyard by Tavares Strachan to be part of the exhibition called Intangled Pastus 1768 Till Now, Art, Colonialism and Change. This art aims to bring individuals and communities whose stories have long been marginalized or forgotten to the spotlight. The artist took four years of his life to make his imagination come true. The First Supper serves as a symbolic representation of what the artist describes as a utopia gathering. This masterpiece unites historically significant figures from the Africa continent and its diasporas, such as Zumbi dos Palmares, a valiant resistance fighter, Mary C. Cole, a compassionate nurse, and activists like Harriet Tumba with the revealed imperial of Ethiopia, Haile Selassie, at his heart. The element placed on the table holds profound spiritual, philosophical, and ideological significance. Among this, African rice, breadfruit, catfish, cacao, custard apple are few to mention. In general, the sculpture refers with deep engagement with theme such as technology transfer, indigenous knowledge, and human agency. In the process of making this art, the artist used cast bronze, gold patina, representing rich mineral cultures, and historic network. Certain figures and intricate details are adorned with gold leaf. As Strachan notes, gold is one of Africa's most abundant natural resources and has indelibly shaped its history and its people throughout time. Through his art, the artist tried to shape the narrative in Britain, particularly concerning empire, enslavement, indenture, resistance, and abolition. Last but not least, relating Black History Month's theme, African Americans and the arts, with this sculpture, we can conclude that now time itself is revealing the true color of things. Now is the perfect time to change the narrative embedded in our mind about who we are, how far we can go, and what we are capable of doing. We should start asking why, search for the unknown, and most importantly, look within ourselves to be a catalyst for the renaissance of Africa to come true. Thank you so much for staying with us and happy Black History Month.